So guys, as you know, over the past uh, month or two, I've been reviewing the Terminator films, and the day is finally here. Terminator Genesis has officially come out, and we get to review it, theoretically speaking. Terminator Genesis stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Amelia Clark, Jack Courtney, and is directed by Alan Taylor. So Terminator Genesis is a time travel smorgasbord, and if you're not paying attention, you might get lost. There's a lot going on in this movie. So in Terminator Genesis, Kyle Reese is sent back to a 1984 that is very different from what he was expecting it to be. It is actually an alternate 1984 because of some events that had happened before. And what we find out is that a Terminator was actually sent back in 73 to protect Sarah Connor. So she comes back to 1984 to protect Kyle Reese. And there is an ultimate end game in this movie. And I don't want to spoil it for you. But this movie has gotten a lot of bad reviews. And I went in expecting this to be horrible based on what it was given on Rotten Tomatoes. And I got to say, guys, I really like this movie. I like it a lot more than 3 and 4, and I actually enjoy those movies. But I can see why some people might not like it, because this movie definitely takes a lot of risks. As a matter of fact, I went to this movie with my son and my wife, and when we left, they did not like it at all. I think I might have even heard the word hate in there. So let me tell you what I liked about it. Uh, first off, the opening sequence. They, they take you back to the original 1984, and I remember... Ever since I saw the original Terminator, I always wanted to see that scene played out. I always wondered what Kyle Reese actually went through before he landed in 1984. You know, and now, finally, we actually have that scene, and it was really cool. And then you get to see the original Terminator, and then Arnold's Terminator, we'll call him Pops, as he's called in the movie, shows up to basically change some history. And that scene is really cool. And just on a side note, um, if you haven't seen any of the Terminator movies before, I would highly suggest watching the first one and even the second one. You could probably skip three and four and be just fine. But definitely watch those first two, otherwise you are definitely going to be lost. I also liked Amelia Clark in this. I thought she did a really good job playing Sarah Connor. And that is a, actually a tough role to play because she had to find that line between a vulnerable and a kick-ass soldier. And I thought she handled that role quite well. And the movie does have some moments that slow down so you can have some nice character beats. And they try to build their relationship between her and Kyle Reese. And I actually enjoyed those moments. Uh, originally I expected this to be just a straight out action movie from start to finish. You know, nothing too deep. But they do have some moments in there that are kind of deep and character building. Also, I like that they took the franchise in a new direction, you know, because if you, if you can say anything bad about Terminator 3, you can say that it is kind of repetitive. It almost seems like a direct ripoff of Terminator 2. It's fun, but it's not really stimulating. Whereas this one, like I said earlier, you definitely have to stay focused because there's a lot going on. I mean, you're jumping from three or four different timelines. And if you pay attention, it's, it's all pretty understandable, but... I can see how some people might get lost. I also like what they did with uh, John Connor's character and the evolution of the Terminator. And, and I'm not going to spoil it, but they do take the Terminator into some new ter uh, territory. Uh, it's more cerebral, if you will. And this is definitely a movie that I might put out a spoiler review later because there's a lot that I could talk about that I can't really talk about to those who haven't seen the movie. And finally, I loved Arnold in this. I thought he was really great. As I've said in previous reviews, he loves the Terminator character so much. And in this one, he actually brings some new elements to the character. He is a beaten down and weathered version of the Terminator this time around, and he really plays off of that pretty well. Now, this movie does have some faults. Um, as you could probably guess, Jai Courtney, he does a fine job in this. He's not, he's not a bad actor, but... I think they should have went with a, a slimmer actor because Jack Courtney, he looks like a Terminator. He is really beefy and it just kind of takes you out of that role because when you think of Kyle Reese, you think of Michael Biehn from the first one. And also Michael Biehn, I thought he did a much better job with that character. He's, he, he gives it a very emotional punch, whereas Jack Courtney, he, he has some moments in the movie. He does decent acting, but he doesn't take it to that next level like Michael Biehn does. 
In the end, guys, this is a very divisive movie. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably not going to like this movie. Um, but, like I said, I really enjoyed it. I'm a huge fan of the Terminator franchise. I like that it took risks. So, I am going to give it a purchase worthy. But I want to know what you guys think about it. I'm really looking forward to discussing with you and maybe hearing your sides of the argument and seeing what you liked and what you didn't like. And also, before I go, uh, next week I'm going to be on Cineclash, which is kind of a movie trivia type Jeopardy uh, over at Arturo's channel, ATZ Reviews. I'll put a, uh, a link to that down below. Make sure you check that out next week. It's a lot of fun. And make sure you subscribe to his channel. He has a lot of great reviews out there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and drum dumb out.